Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out some Sephora makeup that I picked up literally about a year ago. That's really bad, isn't it? I just, I just buy so much makeup with the intention of trying it and then I just forget. But today I'm gonna be trying it. It's only a year late. Professional YouTuber here. Yeah, I picked this up in Athens. Literally, I must have gone to Athens August? O October? I don't know. It was around about a year or so ago though. So hopefully they still have everything in stock. Hopefully nothing's been discontinued since that time. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna be trying it out today and just letting you guys know my thoughts. So this is everything that I picked up. I've got everything from like eye palettes, little face palette. I got this foundation, which I was worried wouldn't suit me because obviously I picked this up when I was in Athens and I was a lot more tan because it was the summertime then. But actually, I've been getting a little bit of sun on my skin recently and this looks like it won't be too bad of a match. I've also got this highlighter, which I forgot I even picked up because obviously it's been a year since I saw it. But this looks really pretty, so buzzing for that. Yeah, I have nothing interesting or funny or witty to say to you guys or to talk to you about. Um, so let's just put makeup on my face. Ding, okay, let's go. All right, so this is how my skin is looking at the moment. I did already just moisturize using the Ula Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Double Cream, which I really like, just heads up. So this is how my skin is looking at the moment. It's like the best it's been for a while. I went through a phase of squeezing my face because I had, a, I was very anxious and like, long story short, I squeezed my face. And yeah, I've stopped doing that recently. And my skin's like, well done, good job. So for foundation, I have this guy here. It is the Sephora uh, Fond de Tint. Perfection Eclat Glow Perfection Foundation. That's the English bit. And I got it in the shade uh, beige. That's me, I'm a beige kind of gal. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender. I've had a few people, it makes me laugh, I've had a few people saying to me like, Steph, do you never wash your sponges? This, like I've used it once, but this is the color of the sponge. I'm not that grubby. This is like one of the ones that came with the beauty blender foundation ages ago. I'm not that grubby. I'm a bit grubby, I'm not that grubby. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little Swoop on my face there. Let's do like a half and half side by side comparison because I'm not really sure what kind of coverage this is supposed to have. I'm just gonna blend it all out with my sponge here. Okay, I might have to like migrate to the other sections of my face because apparently a little bit goes a long way with this foundation. Very full coverage as well. Like very full coverage. What's it say? Buildable medium coverage, even fresh and radiant complexion. Long lasting, that sounds like a bit of me. Oh, don't mind me while I flirt with the foundation for some reason. So yeah, a little really does go a long way with this. I think I took like one and a half pumps and it's probably too much for my little face. Like look at my lip, look at my lip. So yeah, noted with that. I always go in so heavy handed and then after a while I'm like, wait, I didn't need that much makeup. Like fair enough if you want that much makeup, but I really didn't need it. Okay, so we're finally getting to like blending everything out. Seriously, please only take a small amount of this and build it because and I know I said it before, but you really don't need a lot of this. I am, um, my skin was, my skin looked better before right now because now I literally look like someone's just covered me in like cement. But as I'm starting to like blend this out and actually blend it out, not just layer it upon layer it upon layer it on my face. Now that it is kind of like sinking into my skin a little bit, it looks quite good. It is glowy, but it's not like, it only makes you glowy in the nice areas. It's not really making me glowy or shiny around my mouth or anything too much. Obviously it is a little bit cause it's a wet product, but yeah, it's not too bad. Oh my God, I'm literally just like, just going over my lips right now, screw it. Okay, so I'm now just gonna lick my lips and wipe that off on the back of my hand because I don't have a wet wipe around right now. Okay, how are we looking? I think that looks really nice. It's got really good coverage. And the color is actually a pretty spot on match to be honest. Quite like that. So next for concealer, I have the, this is the high coverage concealer natural finish and I got this in the shade 28 camel. So I'm gonna pop that under my eyes. It's actually not a bad color either. Do some swoops like that. And then, like I said, I don't really have too many spots at the moment or anything, which I'm very thankful for. Although now I've said that, chances are I'll wake up tomorrow with a nice big beast like right in the middle of my face. But I am just gonna do a little bit of concealing around some of these areas here. And then I'll just blend all of that in with my sponge. Oh, I like the way that looks. It's quite wet looking, which again, like if you've been here for a while, you'll know that I love concealers like It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, cause it is very kind of like oily looking. And then when you set it down, it doesn't crease or anything too much. Cause I'm not getting any younger. 
I've got lines. I need I need something that keeps my under eyes moisturized. I like my under eyes moist. Just like that. That's how I like my under eyes to be. So yeah, I'm just blending all of that out there quickly. I really like this base so far. It's, yeah, really nice. It looks a little bit intense on camera because obviously I do have like two freaking huge lights here. But in person, like the glowiness actually looks quite nice. I feel like you could definitely get away with wearing this on its own with like a tiny bit of powder over a few areas like around your nose, maybe on your T-zone or something. But all of the glow here is very much welcomed. So now I'll do some powdering down. So I've got this guy here, heard nothing about this, already made the packaging dirty, like what's wrong with me? This is the Beauty Amplifier. Okay, Beauty Amplifier Set Smoothing Translucent Setting Powder. Oh, I like it when powders have got this little like dip in them because then you can properly swirl your brush in there. Oh, and it's got like a little mesh sifter as well, plus points. So I'm gonna take this brush here. This is a Kit Stars Shaping Veil brush. And I'm gonna set my under eyes. See, I really like it when, I mean, you can see that brush has now got like a bit of concealer on it because I really like my concealer to be wet. And then when I set it down, I don't set it down too much. I just kind of set the like outer layer of it just so it can move, you know? So you can see that little difference there. So again, I'll take some more here just so you guys can see it on the macro. So I'm now just gonna set around my mouth with whatever's kind of left on my brush. Take a bit more and also go a little bit around my snores and right in between my brows. I don't like to powder down too much on my forehead just cause then it can look a little bit cakey like in between my brows. I'm now just gonna take some more of that powder and just set down the rest of my face here. Okay, I'm not as obsessed with it as I was originally. I still like it, like it still looks nice. I just feel like when it is powdered down, it doesn't look as, well, obviously it's not gonna look as dewy, but I don't know. I thought it was gonna be like really nice. I thought I was gonna be like, holy shit, this is a banging foundation. And it's it's nice, don't get me wrong. Happy I got it, will wear again. But it's kind of like, it's kind of like a seven out of 10 for me, I'd say. Just by how it's looking at the moment. Although it might kind of mesh into my skin a little bit more after a while, so we'll see. Yeah, it's not bad. Actually, it looks kind of good on the macro. I gotta remember here that I am fully like looking so close to my face, whereas actually, Looks pretty good. So now we'll do some bronzing, contouring. Let's like shape this face and turn it into less of a moon because right now I literally resemble the moon emoji, which is actually one of my favorite emojis, so I'm not mad about it. Let me know your favorites in the comments down below. Oh, fun game. Leave your favorite emoji. Thanks so much. So what I have to sculpt my face today is the Flawless Face Palette. Um, I think it's just like a kind of one shade fits all. Yeah, it looks like this, this. So we have a corrector, which I'm not gonna use, a contour, a highlight, which is like a matte highlight kind of situation, like a lightening, brightening powder. I've got a blusher, which actually looks really, really bright, but I'm, I'm gonna give it a go. And then I've got two different highlighters here. This one, ooh, and this one, ooh. Ding, ding. Oh, I like this one a lot. I like that one a lot. So first I'm just gonna take a slightly smaller angle brush just to build it up a bit more here without kind of blending it out too much. So I'm just gonna focus that bronzy contour shade just on my cheeks here. I mean, where else would I put it? I'm gonna, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna put this contour powder just on my left arm here. It's really kind of like, just wiggle that up and around my ears. Oh, that's a nice color. Looks quite red in the pan, like red for me, because I do tend to like something a little bit more cool or at least neutral toned, but on the skin, it looks really nice. Hmm, yeah, I quite like that. And then I'll also concentrate a little bit of that just up around my forehead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm gonna do the tiniest little bit just under my nose here, just because I like to shorten my septum the tiniest little bit. In my fox eye makeup video, I'm sure a lot of you noticed, I sure as hell did, forgot to blend out my contour on my nose. So now every time I do anything to my nose, I'm like, try not to forget that, Steph. Yeah, that looks quite good. I found these. <laughs> I love that, I was like, quite good. <sighs> Sniffing the powder, it actually doesn't smell. I just thought I could smell something, but I think it might just be my perfume. So I'm not gonna take a larger brush. This is the Backstage Angle Powder Brush. By the way, I usually list a lot of my favorite brushes in the description box down below, because I always get questions. So yeah, if you guys are curious about like, my favorite brushes that I use and all that good stuff, they're usually down below. Yeah, I'm just gonna lightly focus that a little bit higher on my cheeks. 
It's actually a really, really nice bronzer. I wasn't overly excited about it. I don't know, it, like, it looked nice enough, but nothing too interesting. I mean, how interesting can a brown powder get? But yeah, it actually looks quite nice on my skin. So now using the same brush, I'm gonna take a tiny little bit of this blusher here because I really don't want too much because I'm afraid of it. And I'm just gonna tap off the excess there and just go on the top of my cheeks here. I actually really like with this palette that it says where you should put everything. It's like, apply the color corrector on dark circles and small imperfections. Highlight tops of the cheekbones, center of the forehead, on the chin and bridge of the nose. Like, this is good. Like, why do you need a random ass girl on YouTube telling you what to do when you can just read the palette? But yeah, that's actually a lot more subtle than it looks. I'm sure if you wanted it to be that color, you could build it up to be like that, but it actually just kind of gives me a nice little flush. So, Yes, that's nice so far. So now, like I said, I do have this highlighter here, but I do want to give one of these a go. So I'm going to try this champagne one here, just like that. And let's see what you got. Ooh, my God. That is very pretty. Let me see how it looks closer up on the skin. That looks banging. That looks like nothing on my skin. It hasn't changed the texture or anything. It just looks good and yeah. It's really intense, but it also does kind of like blend out nicely. So it's not just like a bam stripe of a highlighter. Really pretty. Okay. So now we're going to go with this guy here. So this is called the Face Shimmering Powder and it's in the shade Natural Glow. I remember swatching this and being like, yes, this looks pretty and it still looks really good. Even a year later. Oh my God. It's like that one, but on crack. So like this one's like the slightly more conservative older sister and this one's like, the youngest child, like, what? no, it's not. Well, I'm just gonna put this highlight on my face, okay? So I'm just gonna dust off whatever was kind of on my brush from the last one. And uh, let's go in with this guy. Oh, it's like really finely milled. So there's literally like no real kickback or anything from it. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, this is literally basically a more metallic version of that. That's still obviously very metallic and quite intense, but it is a little bit more subtle, a little bit more kind of like airbrushy, whereas this one is just like, yeah, I went to the shop and I doused myself in silver paint. Oh, I like it. I like it. There's me like, oh, I love how it looks a little bit more natural, but I really like this side. It's really pretty. Yes to all of these things so far. So far we're doing well. Um, I really like everything. So now I'm gonna fill in my ashy looking brows. So for that, I have this brow pomade thing here. It is called the Brow Gel Cream. It looks a lot like Benefit Brow, which is one of my favorite brow products. You might be able to see that um, it's still got some of the plastic on there. I can't get this off. Like my nails, I've lost my tweezers. I can't get this off, so it's fine. I'm just gonna use it as is. But basically the idea with these things, if you haven't seen them before, is you just shove it in like that into the lids and then you've got like a little brush and your little pomade. I love that. So yeah, I'm gonna take a touch of this. The shade I got it in, by the way, is number three dark. And it looks like a pretty good color for me. So I'm just gonna fill in my arch up here. Cannot wait to get my microblading top up to fill in these arches. That's actually, well, it's not a bad color, you know? Not bad. The brush is quite thick, so it doesn't give you overly precise brow-like hairs. In fact, I'm actually gonna take that out and try and thin the brush out a little bit with the lid there, just to kind of squish it. So yeah, the brush isn't necessarily my favorite. Like I'm not having any issues with it. It's just if you want more fine hairs, then just use something a little bit thinner. But like the actual brow cream itself looks quite nice. I'm just gonna fill in a couple of bits at the front here. Yes, 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 that's not a bad brow. I'm not mad at that at all. Still need to get some brow gel in there, but otherwise not too shabby. Like that, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm into those brows. That's a decent product. I'll have to kind of see how it wears, obviously, to see if it is long lasting or whatever, but on first impressions, it seems pretty good. No issues there. So now I think I might do my lips before I do my eyes. So I have three different lip products. I've got a lip liner, which is called the Lip Liner To Go, and it's in the shade Nude Beige. I then have a lipstick here in this kind of nudie shade. Oh, that's a really good shade, isn't it? That's really nice. And this is the Sephora Rouge Satin Lipstick and it's in the shade, I don't actually know, to be quite honest with you. S21 maybe? 9156A? Is that the color or am I just being a bell end? Uh, I don't know. 
I'll leave a link to it down below. And then I also have a cream lip stain here just because I thought it looked really, really nice. Um, I think it's just like a liquid lipstick. Yeah, so it's just this like super nude liquid lipstick. Thought I could play around with that a little bit. Smells like sugar, sweets. Something that I would buy at like, do you guys ever go to Flambards? If you've been to Cornwall, you probably have, or you've at least heard of it. It smells like something that I got from there fairly recently. Very sugary, I like it. So I'm just gonna quickly put a little bit of lip balm on because my lips are feeling a tiny bit crusty, probably because I layered like 50 liters of foundation and concealer on them. So first I'm gonna go in with this lip liner. It's quite a like pale nude shade. It's literally like my lip color right now. Oh, it's breaking off a little bit. Um, Okay, maybe it just needs warming up. It's a lot more nude than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a little bit darker, but it's good if you kind of wanna like cheat your lip line a little bit. I always like to go across my cupid's velvet here. And it doesn't actually look that harsh because it is such a good match to my lips at the moment. I mean, that lip line is fine. Obviously it did go a little bit crumbly at first, but that might just be because it was obviously super sharpened. It was quite creamy. I'm not 100% sold on the color just because I thought it was gonna be a little bit more like my everyday kind of nude, but it's still, like if this is the color you want, it's nice. And it's a good kind of natural everyday color that suits my own lips. So it's not bad. I don't think it's amazing. It's all right. So now I'm gonna go in with the lipstick quickly. It's literally like a perfect match for the lip liner. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like that with a slightly darker lip liner would be a good lip color for me. Just cause I feel like, cause I love such a pale nude lip. I do kind of need a slightly darker lip liner just so it doesn't just look like it's just blending into my face. So yeah, I would prefer to have a slightly darker lip liner, but it's also quite a nice nude. And then to add to the lightness of my lips, I'm just slowly turning into like a wax work of myself here. I'm just gonna give this a go. Oh my God, that's so gray. I like it. Again, not right now though, cause it is just quite gray for me. Although I'm kind of tempted to keep it on there and just Add in a slightly darker lip liner. That's so nude even for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cheat for two seconds and just add in a tiny bit of a darker lip liner. I'm just using the NYX suede lip liner in the shade Hooked on Love. I'm like trying to line my lips before this liquid lipstick dries. Yeah, see that's a bit more me. Just need a little bit of depth there just so like I said, it doesn't just look like I'm just blending into one. Yeah, those lip products are nice. I think I'll prefer them like either on their own or with like a darker lip liner or something. So I would use this, but maybe it's like a little lip lightener in the middle. This is a really good nude lipstick. I would just pair it with a slightly darker lip liner. And then this is just good kind of like on its own. If I do just want to make my lips look a little bit more full if I'm doing like a natural makeup look. So nothing wrong with the lip products at all. They all seem really nice. I just wouldn't necessarily wear them together. So now for eyes, I have the Vivid Earth eyeshadow palette. So it looks like this. And I got it because this shade here, it's like a glittery, shimmery kind of green. It looks so nice. Ooh, yes. Very, very pretty. Okay, that's going on my face. But yeah, I thought I could just do like a really kind of blown out, cool toned, greeny, smoky eye with like mostly these shades down here. Oh, it even comes with a little eye primer. It says it's an eye primer, but it just looks like a little translucent setting powder here. Otherwise, it's got seven different eyeshadows. We have four mattes, three shimmers. Yeah, cool. Let's do it. So I'm just gonna blend out whatever's on my lid here. I obviously haven't set it down or anything yet. And all right, I'll bite. I'm gonna use the eye primer. I was gonna keep my eyelids nice and moist, but it's fine. I'll do what they tell me. So I'm just gonna pop that just on my lids. I mean, it literally does just seem like a translucent setting powder. But yeah, I'll pop that on there. Stunning. So now I think I'm gonna go in with a tiny little bit of this shade here called Ground. Seems quite pigmented. This is just like a matte kind of transition shade for me. And I'm just gonna work a little bit of that in my crease just so it can kind of poke through in a minute when I shove a really nice dark one in there. So really, it's probably not gonna even look like anything right now, me doing this. Yeah, just maybe defines my eyes a little bit more. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Seeds, which is like a really dark kind of khaki shade. Shake that off. Look at the flick of the wrist, the wrist. And I'm gonna start just by plonking that just in my crease here. And then I'll start to blend it as I go. 
a little fluffy f thing on my face. Get it off, get it off. So yeah, I'm literally just gonna keep on blending that for a minute. I don't want to over blend because I don't want it to go like too blown out across my brow. So I'm just gonna try and kind of keep it right in my crease there. Take a tiny bit more just to build it up in my crease a bit. And then again, I just kind of little wiggling motions here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Do, 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 do. Like a little jukebox today. Bringing out all the bangers. It's not blending out 100%. There's like something going on here. It's it's not patchy, it's not, not pigmented, but it's like, I feel like the blend could be a little bit better, but it still does look all right. Like I'm not mad at it at all. So now I'm gonna take the shade Wild, which was that color that I first swatched. So I'm gonna do a couple of swipes of that on this little flat brush and just tap off the excess again. And I'm gonna just try that just like smack bang on my lid for right now, just to see how it kind of looks. Uh, I mean, I would like it to be a bit more foiled, if that's okay. Maybe I need a bit more. There we go. I think it just needed a second to kind of get picked up on the brush. Okay, there is fallout. <sighs> I'm not trying to blow it away before it stays on my face. So there's fallout, but that is a really stunning color. It's a really pretty color. And then I'm gonna go back in with that brush that I was using before, the fluffy one. And just blend that out a smidge. Going with a touch more of Seeds, which is the matte shade, just to kind of blend the two together. Not so much that like the shimmer starts appearing above my brow. Not above my brow, above my, under my brow. There, can't even navigate my own face. And then I'll do a few little flicks as well. Just to kind of bring that outwards. Like so, I feel like that's maybe a little bit much. And then for under my eyes, I'm gonna go in with the shade Rustic, which is like the deepest kind of just brown matte shade. Again, shake it off, tap it off, whatever you want to do, and I'm going to run that on my lower lash line. Oh, that's a pretty colour. I'm just going to blend that out, and kind of smudge it. It's really like bringing out some of the cool tones in my eye. And I've said it before, but my eyes are seriously changing colour. They've got like a bit of greeniness in them, like a little bit of green and a little bit of grey. It might be cataracts, like I'm getting older, I'm not that old, but it could well be cataracts. But either way, it looks nice. So yeah, I'm just gonna just smudge that in and make sure it meets the outer corner there. So then there's not really any kind of like inner corner highlight shimmer for me. Like I've got this shade here called Element, but it's a little bit too goldy for me to put in my inner corner, I think. Yeah, a little bit too like peachy goldy. So I'm going back in with this guy. Take a bit of that on a fluffy brush and I'll just concentrate that right on the inner corner. I literally, I cannot do my makeup without highlighting my inner corner. Let me know if you don't. Cause I seriously, if I don't do it, I look at myself and I'm like, what's missing? You're like, it makes me look alive. And then yeah, I'm gonna blend some onto my brow bone as well and just kind of buff that in with the edges of that matte shade. Just so it kind of softens it a bit. Ooh, I like that a lot. Yeah, I rate that. I wouldn't say this is the best quality palette I've ever had. Like there's not anything, I always say this, there's nothing wrong with it as such. I was just maybe hoping that the matte shade would blend out a little bit better. Again, like it's quite an affordable palette. There's nothing wrong with it. I was just maybe expecting a touch more, but the shimmers are really, really nice, especially this green. Okay, so last but not least, I have some mascara here. So this is the Outrageous Extension Dramatic Volume and Length Mascara. It looks like this, a big chunky plastic wand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop some of that on my lashes. Ooh, okay, this is what I like to see when I put on mascara. When they like instantly make a difference, I don't have to build it up too much, I don't have to make too much of an effort. The lazy girl way of doing mascara. Like, that is, that's really something. It's got a really black formula. It's coating all of my lashes. This is what I like to see with mascaras because I've got naturally quite long lashes. So usually I'm very fortunate in the fact that most mascaras do work for me because my lashes are already quite long anyway. But this is the kind of thing I like to see with mascara when you just put it on and it's like, bam, I'm there. I'm not playing hard to get or anything. I'm just here. Yeah, really nice mascara that, really nice. Ooh, I think I'm gonna like this makeup look. I think I am. Right, let's take these little clippies out. See, it doesn't really leave any dents in your hair. It's great. Okay, so I'm not gonna do the other eye off camera. I'll probably add in like a little bit of brow gel or something as well, just to kind of complete the look. And uh, then I'll see you guys in a second so we can see how it all looks. 
All right, guys, so this is the finished look so far. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. I'm really, really into it. I don't know if it's just like my brown hair with this kind of dark smoky eye and my brown eyes. I'm just like, ooh, sultry. And then I open my mouth, no, I'm not sultry. <laughs> yeah, really liking how it looks. So it is currently, oh, literally just gone half 12. So I'm gonna wear this for the foreseeable future. I'll insert like a little clip as to how it's looking right now, like macro, close up and everything like that. So you guys can see it, pause and all. But yeah, I'm gonna go about my day, wear this makeup, do my usual thing, and I'll see you guys later, whenever that might be. All right guys, so it's a little while later, and by a little while, I mean it is currently, I didn't even realize it was that late, it is quarter past eight in the evening, so I've had this on for around about eight hours or so. Specifically, seven hours and 45 minutes. Quick maths, thank you so much. It looks really similar, to be honest. Um, it maybe looks a little bit more kind of like, not dry, because it's gonna look more oily, but it just looks a little bit more textured like around my chin, around my mouth, which again, like I often have that problem with foundations. The eye makeup has pretty much stayed exactly the same. My mascara's left a couple, like literally a few little tiny specks here. So it has like crisped up a little bit. The lips I'm really impressed with, obviously I did like a bunch of different layers of different things, but I think it's mostly the liquid lipstick that has stayed on my lips as well as like a little bit of lip liner. I have been eating a lot today. Had some noodles, had some soup, a lot of like slurpy things and yeah, it's still on. It's all kind of stayed on my nose as well. The brows seem to be pretty much in place. It's like if you touch them, it does rub off a little bit, but not much. It's still very much kind of there. So overall, I'm actually really impressed with a lot of things that I picked up. Was there anything I didn't really like? Um, I actually think I liked everything, to be quite honest with you. Just looking around my desk, it's a mess. But yeah, I think I liked everything. That's it, there's nothing bad. It's almost boring because there was nothing like for me to bitch about, but um, yeah, I like everything. I will, I will go to Athens again one day or somewhere else with a Sephora and I will pick up more Sephora makeup because it's really good. Can't believe it took me this long to try it. So guys, let me know what you think of this makeup look before and now let me know how you thought it weared. Weared? War? Let me know how you thought it wore. That's, that's the one. It's been a while since I went to school. Like, I, don't, I don't know English anymore. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.